Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensai Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Volume 13 Chapter 7 Guardian of the Teleport Labyrinth Part 1 A Red Magic Circle. Until now, all I've seen were teleport magic circles that gave off a bluish white light, but it's red. Red, a color representing danger. There are such words as red zone as well. That is, it will lead to a dangerous place. It's ahead of this. The one who mutters out those words is Paul. I'm sure that was an utterance of intuition. I wonder if Zenith or the Guardian Protector will be there. However, strangely, there's a feeling of conviction. Sixth floor was easy. Thanks to the roots of Tarifuro, the little devils were the same as small fries. We never had to use anything in particular. It wouldn't even be a stretch to say that our energy is full. We relaxed quite a bit in the room just before as well. No, we'll proceed. Let's inspect our equipment. Understood. After hearing Paul's decision, everyone sits down to check his or her equipment. On the occasion, I take off my equipment. I start inspecting it more carefully than usual. Look, Rudy as well. After Roxy tells me that, I sit down as well. I take out all of my belongings from my bag and line them up on the ground to confirm. I have few belongings. At most, I just possess a number of the spirit scrolls. Rudy, my scrolls, do you want to take some of them? Just in the case something comes up, Roxy is carrying a number of scrolls. Since the battle may come down to that, a time may come up where you can't cast in time. It's a trump card for that time. I guess so, then how about several healing magic scrolls? If I don't use them, I'll return them. I'd like to take one and return home with it, then have Nanahoshi or Cliff reproduce them. No, reproducing them without permission was prohibited, wasn't it? Though personally, I don't think the portion I use will be exposed. I don't know what kind of guardian protector there will be, but we have plenty of combat potential, Rudy. So you don't end up needing to use those scrolls, let's cover you with all our power, I'm in your care. Somehow I have a habit of freezing up, so when the time comes down to it, please help me. Yes, please leave your back to me. While saying that, Roxy hit her own small chest with a ton. How reliable. Rudeus, Roxy. And then there, Ellen Elias tosses something over to us. After catching what she throws, I notice it was a circular stone, almost like a marble. The same kind of magic crystal that Ellen Elias carries a number of. If you run out of magic power, please use that. Is it fine? It's just a loan. If you don't use it, please return it later. Ah, yes. Understood. Running out of magic power towards the end of exploring a labyrinth is possible. But, normally, at a time like that, you retreat. After all, for that reason, you make sure to exterminate the enemies completely in the rooms behind you. After escaping and waiting for your magic power to recover, you re-challenge the Guardian Protector. However, there are also times when you can't escape from the Guardian. If a boss traps you in a place like a competition field, you can't leave until you defeat it. It seems there are cases like that as well. The red magic circle in front of our eyes appears to be two-way. However, in reality, it might actually be one way. As expected, it's probably not random. Alright, is everyone prepared? With Paul's voice, we all stand up. After looking, everyone's faces are tense. I'll put some spirit into it as I go as well. Rudy. What is it? I do feel it's bad to say something like this now though. Ah, this is a death flag. Then, please don't say it. Sue, sure, Paul makes a depressed face. The morale might have decreased a bit. No, important things aren't something you say right before a decisive battle. Those sorts of things are fine after we return. Alright, let's go. After looking at each other, we all simultaneously step on the magic circle. Part 2 ahead of where we left the magic circle is a tremendously wide room, if I were to say it in a few words, it's a giant temple room. It has a rectangular shape and is roughly a palace hall, and as vast as a baseball field. Along the edges of the room, there are a number of thick pillars standing up. The ceiling is high enough up that you have to strain your neck to look up. The ground turns into something like tile, every tile engraved with an intricate relief carving, or an etched image projecting on each tile. Oh! Deep in the interior part of that ashen palace is a single monster. It is gigantic. I've never fought a monster this large before. The size is roughly two times larger than a red dragon. Even from a distance, I could tell that it has sparkling emerald green scales. Its torso is short but wide. From there, a number of heads branch out. The Hydra, for real, it's my first time seeing one, I hear Gisu's murmur. 
Right, it's a hydra. A gigantic multi-headed dragon, I count nine heads. There. But, where Paul's eyes stop isn't at the hydra. Beyond the hydra, the innermost room behind the protecting hydra, there is a visible magic crystal. It is an emerald green magic crystal of tremendous size, large enough to make the marble-like magic crystals that Elenalize carries seem worthless. A magic crystal in the shape of a crystal about two meters, six and half a foot, in size, I've never seen a magic crystal of this size until now. However, that's fine as well. The size doesn't matter at all. Rather than something like that, it's the inside of the magic crystal. Inside the magic crystal, she is there. Zenith is trapped inside the magic crystal, Zenith. Paul shouts out. Simultaneously, the thoughts of, why? Come to my mind. Why did it become like that? Why is she inside a magic crystal? Before I could put my doubts into words, Paul runs ahead dual wielding swords in both hands. The Hydra slowly raises up and turns its necks. That's it guys thank you for watching subscribe if you want more and don't forget to like the videos.